It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC East. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it comes your way next. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Today, longtime foe square off in the NFC East as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And they will be led out by their 6-4 quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. Got it. ready? On first down, it's Cunningham. And he will go down. The Cowboys sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. So much for coming out throwing as it leads to an early second down and long. From the shotgun, it's a give to McCoy. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get eight yards back there. They could use another one of those now on third and seven. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Now Cunningham. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Eagles send out their punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. Returnable here from the 38. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. second and nine. And quickly to the outside, that's caught by Lamb. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. On second down, it's McCoy. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. On first and ten, Cunningham. Throw left side, complete. That's Owens. A big play there for Philly. 48 yards. We know play calls can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Off play action, it's Cunningham. And that is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and 10. Out of the gun here, it's Cunningham. Complete, Smith has it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. 13 yards on his first catch, it's a first down as well. Boy, how about the speed with which his offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Here's Cunningham from the gun. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Only a yard of the completion in second and goal. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz it because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Cunningham. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. From eight yards out. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Now the try here for the point after. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-0. So that drives seven plays in length. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone.
team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop, and it just never materialized, and down he went behind the line of scrimmage. Now Aikman to throw on second down. He's got a man complete. And out across midfield, down to the 45. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now Aikman looking to throw. This little short throw to Witten. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. On second down, here's Aikman. Going right side, he has Witten. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, He's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Play action. It's Aikman. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. It's so in coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here's Cunningham. Throwing right in, that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Now a first down throw, Cunningham, and complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. The cutting hands throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Cunningham looking to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Now a handoff. Running left is McCoy. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Cunningham to throw, and that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. A play fake. Now Cunningham. He finds McCoy. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Cunningham. And that's going to be cut for an Eagles touchdown. From four yards out. And the Eagles are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Oh, nice defensive effort there. Providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch. And normally, he's a sure-handed target. Second and ten. Inside handoff, Smith. He'll be marked 
down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Aikman on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. As they've got it as we resume action. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. This is second and eight. Now Aikman. Incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw is Aikman. This will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. But definitely got to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Now Cunningham. It's complete to Brown, right side. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, here's Cunningham. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Cunningham. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. officially and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive and they're in a bind early here down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried you're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive but at the same time you're wondering how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. You make you feeling okay. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, 
run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second down, here's Smith again. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They go back to the ground with Smith to the 36-yard line. Stop there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and seven. Now it's Aikman. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. You, know, you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. Throwing left sideline there. It's incomplete. Down now, looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. And this one is right down the middle. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So not exactly the response they were hoping for, but they'll take the three to at least get them on the score sheet. Yeah, now's not the time to panic. All is well, somewhat calm, only down 14 to nothing. So continue to play your game, take the points when they're there, and put the emphasis on your defense to go out and get you the football back. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 20. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they're going to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Going to drop this off to McCoy, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone good scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now a second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. 
things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw again. This is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 23 yards, the final tally. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Now McCoy. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll try again with McCoy. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So three drives, three touchdowns, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to 3. And there's no doubt in my mind, you're liking what you're seeing so far, aren't you? They're unbelievable. Like yeah. a well-oiled machine, if you will. What's really tough, though, that defense... They're leaping the shadows at this point. They don't know which way to go. They're being hit in every direction, and they have no answers thus far. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. This fielded right at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3. I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. First down, here's Aikman. Caught on the right side by Dorsen. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. So the completion good for seven there. And now it's third and four. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and trying to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Now Aikman looking to throw. This little short throw to Witten. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. 
The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Second and nine. Here's Cunningham. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Eagles on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Back to throw. Cunningham. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now Aikman on first down. Smith catches left side. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Aikman will throw. And this is caught by Winton, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll throw on first down with Aikman. Oh, and that is incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call his penalties. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Aikman going to throw again. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. From the gun on third down is Aikman. to kick this one away. 
He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this will be out of bounds at the one here, the 12-yard line. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. On first down, it's Cunningham. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Owens. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first and 10, Cunningham. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Cunningham. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A nice gain of 21 yards. I know that no game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling, looking at each other, trying to figure out how are we going to slow these guys down. Now a first down throw, Cunningham going for the deep ball. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Cunningham to throw. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it, so on comes the field goal unit. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24 to three. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker too as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This All was right, an Coach, extremely one-sided first half. Welcome everyone One team showed up, ready to go. Three. The other's been in a daze thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly.
It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Cunningham looking to throw. He gets it complete to Jackson. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, 22. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far, and that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turn, presents up the short field, and the offense comes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. team out there now as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. And despite a nice juke there, really good move. He only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Now a quick slam as the throw is complete. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now 
loves a nice run slam route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They're able to convert with a gain of four. A lot depending on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Now here's a throw right side, taken in by his tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. Well, a lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't hurt them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A handoff, Dorsett up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now it's Aikman. They set up the screen to Dorsett. Yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle is going to leave him about a yard or so short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it can be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter 
run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. On first and 10, it's Aikman. He finds Smith out of the backfield. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. To throw is Aikman. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now Aikman. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the way. I and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And out now come the Eagles. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Now Cunningham. And this will be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Out of the shotgun. It's McCoy. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it with McCoy. Runs through the contact, and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now Cunningham. He finds his man complete. That's Owens. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A well-executed.
executed 22-yard gain. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, Cunningham. He finds his man complete. That's Owens. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of Scott. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. All right, let's give them a little bit of applause here. Good for them because this has been a defensive nightmare for them thus far. At least they're finally getting a couple of big plays. Won't make the scoreboard of the ride home easier, but one good moment to watch in film next week. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Looking to throw. Cunningham. Under pressure, they got him again. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. And it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today. But on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. So tack on three more, though this, it's just a rare drive where they did not find the end zone. Yeah, you're right about that, partner. But at this point, I don't think you're too concerned about that. You just want to possess the football for a while and drain the clock. If you can get three out of it, that's great, too. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. First down, here's Aikman. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down at six. Now Aikman looking to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Just a gain of a couple there. And it's third and four now. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. 
The Cowboys on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Again, it's Aikman. And on the left side, he's got Witten. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. With this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. Smith trying to run for it. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Another try for Smith. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Off the play fake, here's Aikman. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. They'll try and throw for it with Aikman. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So there's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we're going to get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, Tom. And he's got And now the rookie's free. And all the way down to the 42. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And they'll keep on the ground with McCoy. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them. 
trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The cutting is, and the ball is knocked out. That's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You and I have been around teams, and they all have goals for games, don't they? And every team we've ever talked to says what? No turnover. <laughs> don't turn the ball over. Zero. And they were that close to getting it done. Won't cost them today, but they'll hate that when they're watching the game tape. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 39 yards there, a big one. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Looking to pass Aikman on first down. Side here, complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Aikman going to throw again. And that one too wide and incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Aikman will throw. This little short throw to Witten. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Third and four. Smith up the middle. Boy, oh, shifts past him. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 66 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. But well, sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there a big third down conversion. They'll throw on first down with Aikman. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Is caught for a Cowboy touchdown from eight yards out. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, 
it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On the set. They go now to McCoy. He's seen a ton of action this afternoon. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 of the 36. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Here is third down at four. Again, it's McCoy. Now he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clipped him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Now Aikman on first down. Over the middle, held in by Lamb. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This little short throw to Witten. 
Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here now, second and four. He'll look to throw. Left side to land. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Looking to throw again here, Aikman. This little short throw to Witten. And it'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second and a couple. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Two yards to go, second down. From the shotgun, Aikman. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Now Aikman staring at third and two. And incomplete on the deep ball. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. And the Eagles come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And I think you'd have to label this an upset. Yes, they were at home, but still an upset. They got the job done. Yeah, even being at home, was not enough for people to think they were going to pull this one off. But give them credit for playing not just a smart football game, but one where they were going to be physical about the whole thing. They put up their fists and said, let's fight, and showed their crowd that they were into this one. And then that's the thing. The crowd responded. They were really good in this game. Yeah, they were not going to be pushed around. They were not going to be intimidated. They refused to back down and came away with a victory.